Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here, time for some more Project Zomboid, so it's getting late-ish, also got our pot of water here, put that away, don't need that right now, I uh, probably don't need to carry all this food with us anymore either, dry ramen, salt, whiskey bottle, get rid of all that, this I'm excited about this uh, car battery charger we found. Should be interesting to see it use. I think I'm going to hold on to it. And uh, hold on to everything. Oh, sugar I don't need. And the broccoli seeds. We'll hold on to everything else. Alright, so I guess we'll just read our book. So we wait for, for bedtime. Did I, ever, did, I didn't take the... Uh, Nicotine thing, did I? No, it doesn't look. Oh, no, I did. No, that's the amateur mechanic. <laughs> it looks an awful like a, like a lit cigarette. No, I didn't. I didn't take it. Um. Yeah, so let's read our book for a bit. Not not this book. This one. Or we could throw it on the ground because I'm a weirdo. All right, just read it. It'll pick it back up. Alright, we'll go to like, we're pretty tired already, but we'll go to like 22 probably, just so that he get, sleeps through the night. Sounds like a coyote outside. Alright, it's snowing. Let's have... Box of cereal for breakfast. And let's just have half a half a box of cereal for breakfast. I feel like we should check this scratch, see how it's going. And it's done. Excellent. All right. Time to go get into trouble. Start with a knife, I guess. So here's a question. Is it just always charged, or do you have to charge it? It's a quest. This is this is a question I have. Let me put it down first. Unpack. Let me try to learn how this thing works. All right, so it's on the ground now. No. Place. So how do I use you now? Uh, I can't seem to get attached to it here. Go in here, maybe it's something we do through here? Where's the battery? There it is. This actually has a decent amount of battery to it, to be honest. Alright, I don't know how to use this car charger, apparently. So it says, place on the ground, then use the context menu to attach to a battery. Requires a power source to operate. Oh, it's like an intermediary. Okay. So we need, like, a generator or something. Probably a generator. I'm not sure there's... Any or something's about that. Oh, stop snowing already. Yes. Just a little early December uh, flurries. Dusting. Glazing. Whatever weird term you want to use for it. So I guess we'll just keep pushing in. Nothing in the mailbox. Should probably check the mailboxes. It's a thing that I always forget about. Good cooking. There we go. I'll make some bread dough. Done. Alright, we got as far as here. So pushing a little bit. And we're gonna about to get back into the neighborhoods. But we should go look at that. There's some crates in this room. By room, I mean shed. 
Oh hey, sprinting leveled up. Gotta love that extra level of sprinting. Flurries are starting again. Car battery heavy duty that's fully charged. Excellent. Read these books. Um, we should probably take at least one of these hammers just to have an extra one. We'll take this battery. Gas can that's full. We have, we officially have a working vehicle. Uh, battery and gas. How to use generators. I already read that book. And another hammer. Okay. Duct tape is always helpful. Another battery. This one's not completely full. And a propane tank, which is going to weigh a lot, so we're not going to worry about that. I'm glad I came in here. And a uh, wheel. Tire? I guess it's a tire, not a wheel. Subtle but important distinction. Oh, hello. We still need, like, a screwdriver, really, to make it work, though. That's what I get for running. Oh, there's a lot of you. I thought there were like three of you. Right, we have five now. This knife is not going to last through five zombies. Unless it's the best butter knife ever. It's not the best butter knife ever, as it turns out. I can't. This this push game is not going to work. We need to be able to push two of them at once. Okay, now we're now we're cooking. Stay down. Chop this tree down with my foot. But it ain't got anything useful on them? No. I do have lucky as a trait, right? Is that a thing? Yeah, I do. We're lucky, just not that lucky, apparently. This frying pan's not in great shape. One's not gonna last very long. Alright, did I get just the one? There's a house down here it would be kinda nice to get to. I think maybe we'll peel off though and go the other direction. I know, I know, I'm running again. Eh, I don't know where those two came from. Alright, four zombies seen. Let's check this zombie. This is just a dead body, this is not a zombie. Come here, dude. Oh, hey, a pistol. Oops, sorry, dog. Just down below my feet. She accidentally scratched her um, heating pad off of her bed and now she's annoyed that she doesn't have a warm bed. <laughs> the little tri trials and tribulations of being a dog. Newspaper. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Okay. Bunch of zombies over there. Really want a screwdriver. Box of nails is good. Is that full? We're full. Okay. Propane torch. Jack. 
I don't I dropped my the purse off so I don't have a second bag anymore. Which is silly on my part. Alright, we're just gonna take all this stuff into our main inventory and I guess just take it straight home because it's really our only option. Yeah, alright. As much as I would like to get into this house here, we just have to kind of leave. Was it this car that was basically functional? Except for a couple of minor bits? Yeah. We'll check it out in a second. I think maybe it didn't have a battery, which we... I don't think can change the screwdriver. Ag. Auto. <laughs> the auto menus came up. Messed me up. here. I hear one other zombie. There you are. There's also one still in the church because I can hear it banging around in there. Hopefully nobody bothers me while I'm doing this. Battery is mostly empty. Gas tank is not in a great shape. It's it's leaky. It's Potentially leaky at the level that it's at. But we could still pretend take it, maybe. Mm. I expected the other one to come. Oh, now there's three of you. So there's one down there. You, sir. There we go. Alright, I'm tempted to take this thing back home with us, but it's going to be very noisy if I do. Yeah, what the hell? Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's live dangerously. Alright. Get in. Hopefully the battery's enough to start. Did I actually put the gas in? No, I didn't. I, uh, must have stepped aside before I actually added the gasoline. Do, do. All right, stop there. Come on, why are you, why are you having so much trouble going forward? It's just a little bit of grass. I wonder if the tires are flat, maybe. There we go. Or maybe Sunday Driver is worse than I think it is. We'll check it out a little bit more um, closely once we get back. I think I can pass through these little trees. I 
Sometimes it's hard to tell which ones you can go through and which ones you can't. There we go. Alright, let's go drop stuff off and then I'll come back and look at the car. Alright, let's eat the other half of our cereal box. Let's use this little end table for this stuff. Gas cans. Actually, I should keep at least one of these with me. We can collect gas as we go. Heavy duty battery. Pistol. Car charger we don't need right now either. Oh, that is, nope, that's not full. There it is. Thought I'd filled that thing up already. Alright. Wood glue. Duct tape. Soap we don't need to carry around. Trowel we don't need to carry around. Nails. Don't need all these sheets. That'll do. Alright, let's take a closer look at this vehicle now. And for one thing, I would like to take the gas out of it, since it's potentially leaky. Alright, so... So, you're at 60%, basically. Driver's seat's not in great shape. I don't, the seats are not something I'm concerned about. Gas tank. Less container capacity and may leak fuel. Battery got, like, an extra 1% charge on that situation. Yeah, we need a, si we need a screwdriver before we can do basically anything with this. Oh, yeah, the, the tires are not in good shape. 38%. Hood, trunk, windshield. Engine's in pretty good shape. Alright, so yeah, tires. Tires are what's the problem. Alright, let's head back out again. She could push cars. Actually, let me see real quick here. Let's add gasoline. Yeah, let me drop the um, the mostly full tank. I'm actually just gonna leave it out here, right there. Oh no, that was the empty one. Whoops. We can fill the empty one a little bit as we go along. And yeah, neither of these have any gasoline in them. Ah, it's changed over from snow to very cold rain. My least favorite types of weather. Yes, I see you folks. <laughs> nothing and nothing. Okay. We have outdoorsmen though. So this bad weather shouldn't affect us too much. And by too much, I mean not at all. I think the cold still affects us, but the um, the rain and the snow doesn't. But maybe it does. I've always been slightly unclear as to how, how just how effective that outdoorsman trait really is. Oh. 
Come on out, lady. Sounds like a decent number of zombies down here. A little, uh, quite the group. Yeah, we got too many now. Oh, some of them are going back inside. Sorry, the weather was not to their liking. Five zombies, huh? Getting a little damage in there. The way it moved just then. Come on. All right, one less. Down to two. draw a map. Not annotated though, so I don't really care about it because it's just going to be a place that I already know. Spent a lot of time there in my day. Alright, so there's at least three zombies in this house because they peeled off from the group we were dealing with. Next. I saw you for a second in there. Alright. So I see two zombies. They don't currently seem to see me. Can't open her peas. Oh, a kitchen knife. Butter, which is actually not rotten. Two melted ice creams. Oats. The butter knife. I'll take the tea bag, why not? Nothing in there. Shelves are empty. Feeling very insecure right now. Let's see it. It's a sheet. Fishing for intermediates. Unlikely to be relative relevant anytime soon. Nothing. Disinfectant. Some more soap. More soap. Alright. There's two or more rooms. One is a closet, the crowbar, and some loose nails. I guess we should take the crowbar. It does come in handy sometimes. 
a bedroom with a vest, a belt, and some other stuff. Okay, done with this house. Alright, I'll stop here for today. See you guys later.